the retrieval pinning protocol. Um, okay, so in this case, what we want, what we wanted to do is to, uh, what we wanted to do is to focus on how we can guarantee um, retrieval from uh, for, for files that are stored on a decentralized storage network, and in particular, of course, our use case is Filecoin. Um, and we designed this retrieval pinning protocol where, first of all, we have a fixed set of referees. So there is a network in the in the implementation and now there's only five referees, and, but you can have any numbers and we need to trust only three of them. So it's like this honest um, uh, majority assumption. You don't need to trust all of them. And then again, we design around this a protocol uh, where the client and the storage, they make some deal for specific for the retrievability for the retrievability features. Uh, so the client will propose uh, as as in a similar way as you see in the other proto in the other project a, a deal with like uh, um, some specific parameters, not just the data uh, data the, the, the dash of the data, but also the duration for which the retrieval uh, feature has to be guaranteed, the payment for the service, and very important the collateral. So the collateral is some tokens that the provider put down, locked down in the contract, if he agrees to provide this service. When if the provider fails to provide this service, the retrieval, the retrieval service, what the clients now can do can appeal to ref the referees that we have seen before. The referees have this role that they try again to retrieve the file. So they contact the provider and check if the provider is really was just a mistake or is really not providing the service. And if the retrieval works these second times, thanks to the, the help of the referees, we are all happy and the provider gets back his collateral and the payment for the service. If something uh, uh, goes wrong, what is will happen is that uh, the, the, the collateral is burned and the provider will lose it completely. Will go, the, the, the provider will go to the uh, smart contract vault. Um, again, we have the app live. The smart contract is on uh, Ethereum testnet, uh, the garlic one, and we have the app uh, that you can test. Uh, if you log in in the app as a client, this is what you basically see. Uh, you see this interface uh, where, again, you can start creating these receivability deals and you can drop your file here. Uh, very easily for the file for, for, for which you want to do the retrieval deal. You can choose the providers. So in this case, it's not like, in, in the other case, basically this was not the step because it was only Web3 uh, storage, the, 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 the provider, the dealers for which you talk. But in this case, we are, we, you can choose which one. Uh, we have a Web3, we are an ad hoc providers that uh, we, we ad hoc node that we maintain. And, and you can choose, there are more parameters here about uh, if you want to have collateral or not. Of course, without collateral, it's like uh, less, less secure. Uh, for how long you want this, uh, this deal, one week, one, uh, one month. So this is all the, 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 the parameters that you can choose. And of course, when you go and create a deal, this will ask you to connect to your MetaMask and sign the, trans the transaction, the transaction goes online, the providers will uh, see the, the this request uh, can has to sign uh, use the accept deal proposal to sign uh, that is accepting the, the retrievability deals and from that moment we have a deal active when the deal is active if any points you as a client uh, you have some problem about the retrieval service you can complain uh, so you can go here and this means you can request an appeal as you see here. Uh, request an appeal so will activate the referees, uh, the referee network that will contact the provider again and try to, as we said before, try for retrieval. Um, and basically you can check everything, uh, you can check the status of the retrievability deal. For example, if there is an appeal that is active, you can check what is happening uh, while the referee network tries to recover the file for you, you can check it uh, in the app as well. Um, uh, on the other side, on the provider, uh, there is not like uh, the, 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 the interface is done by a command line. 
um, that we have like all the code in our GitHub repo, repo. You can download and actually you can test and try. There is a readme uh, doc there. Um, actually, really, uh, we'll, we will love to have feedback from also the provider side. So if you are interested, if you think this is nice, go there and, and, and try to play with this. Um, here, what you can see is an example of the common line of what the client sees, uh, sorry, the provider sees when he accepts uh, the a, a proposal, a deal proposal. Um, and in general, I have to say that this is basically done. Uh, so the provider has to sign up to our protocol and while sign up, he can also choose uh, some default values for, uh, um, that, uh, for, for, for the deals that he wants to accept. So like a minimum payment, a maximum collateral, max duration, max size of the file. There are these uh, um, um, parameters that he can accept, he can, uh, the provider can from common line uh, uh, decide. Of course, we have the default values, but any provider can choose. Um, and what is happening here is that uh, basically, uh, almost automatically then this when you have these the parameters the the parameters that are in the deal are compared with this one and if everything they match the 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 proposal this is accepted otherwise no um what else about about providers is that we are actually this is not yet uh, completely deployed, but the theory for this is ready and we want to provide a reputation score. So we are doing all this, not just to put a crypto economic incentive uh, for, for providing retrieval, but we think it's also will be very nice if we can add a reputation uh, incentive. So we want to provide a way to say which providers are doing well uh, and which are not in the provide, at least for retrievability, for looking at the retrievability. And we designed the reputation code that has two components. Um, the, the first one has the, the goal of incentivized providers that are willing to put high volume of, of collateral. So the more collateral that you accepted, meaning, meaning that you are more secure, that you can provide a good, a good service. And the second component is actually instead of giving a, a higher score or incentivized provider that are taking many uh, deals, meaning they can provide retrieval in a, in a, in a good way for you know, uh, large, large files or actually many files. Um, and that's it. Uh, please go and test. We are really looking for, for, for feedback from clients and provider uh, sites. Thank you.